Hey, good morning. This is the Big JB. I'm just going to have to deal with the glowing shirt this morning because I can't get the light quality right. And I want you to see my face. So I'll have this sort of angelic glow down here, which uh, couldn't probably be farther from the truth. <laughs> um, I got a horrible night's sleep last night. It was really awful. I had a terrible time falling asleep. Um, I mentioned before um, that I had those moles removed. And um, one of the one on my back, the one that's healing, uh, well, they're both healing, but um, you, you know how scabs get itchy when they're, when they're healing? It would not stop itching last night. And I'm good. I don't pick at it, and I don't scratch right on it. I just sort of, you know, scratch around the edge. But um, it was so itchy, and it kept waking me up. And then I had to get up a whole bunch of times to use the restroom in the night, which means I probably had too much sugar, you know, too many carbs. And then um, some terrible dreams, and I don't know. I don't know what happens. I don't know what's going on in my subconscious when I have these dreams where my wife is just being awful, like making fun of me, leaving me. I mean, and just cruel stuff. And I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's processing. You know, me internally processing some of my own failures and putting it in terms of somebody who I care deeply about um, and being concerned that they will, um, I don't know, that they will see things differently than they are or that they will point out, you know, my failures in a, in a mean way. I don't know. I mean, nobody knows me like my wife. I mean, besides God, obviously. But nobody knows me like my wife does. And she knows my weaknesses, she knows my gifts, she knows my failures, she knows my strengths. And if she were to become in, you know, some alternate universe, this horrible harpy <laughs> that happens in my dreams, she could really fry me. But she's not that person. She, she never has been. And it bothers me. I wake up in the morning and I'm bothered. And I, I mean, some people feel like dreams are just dreams. And I, I don't put too much stock in dreams other than to, to look internally and figure out what's going on with me. Um, and I guess that's what I would talk about with you. If, if you have dreams, especially repetitious dreams, that it doesn't necessarily mean something. Like uh, <laughs> they say on Red Dwarf, um, just because you dream you know, about a baboon doesn't mean you want to go to bed with it. <laughs> so, um, that's, that's the same thing. If you have dreams about, I don't know, um, if you constantly have dreams about trying to get something done and you can't, it probably means that you have something left unfinished in your life. Um, if there are recurring dreams that you have, then there's usually something internally. It doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't mean that you want to do that. Like if you have dreams about cheating on your spouse or you have dreams about finding another woman, um, interesting or another person, you know, really attractive and, and having an affair with them or whatever, that doesn't mean that that's your real heart's desire or that you are going to do that. I don't believe that any of those things are, are true. I do believe that some people can have prophetic visions in their dreams, um, but you have to know how to interpret those. But in general, I think the dreams tell us something about ourselves. Um, and so I... I need to explore this a little bit more. I'm doing an exercise this week for a class that I'm involved in where we're supposed to go through and, and, and list the 10, the 10 most painful things that have ever happened to us. Um, and <laughs> part of me is like, geez, how am I going to remember all the painful things that happened to me? There are a few things that I know for sure that are going to be on that list. But I don't relish the opportunity to list all the painful things that have happened. Um, but that's part of the problem, is that a lot of people stuff those things and choose not to think about them rather than dealing with them. So that's that's going to be the exercise that I, I have to go through for my Thursday class. And it's I'm sure it's going to be tough. There's some memories in there that I don't really want to recall. Um, but I think it's good. I think it's good to recall those things. Good. It's good. Sorry, that's a little Bruce Almighty <laughs> for you this morning. Um, but I do think it's good to, to revisit those things and to process them. Not just to revisit them for the sake of digging up the pain, but to be able to look at them 
you know, maybe spend some time analyzing them. In this case, we're going to do some, I'm sure we're going to do some prayer um, over those things and, and find ways that we can learn about ourselves and grow beyond those things rather than having them be stuffed and um, sort of like fish hooks that are still attached to our, to our souls. So, um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that, but in a way I kind of am too. It's kind of a weird thing. There have been some very difficult things that we've gone through in that class, um, but they've been really good things too. Um, and I find that that's some of the best things in life are, are very difficult, but if you really deal with them, they can end up being very beneficial. So um, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it done for today. It's Tuesday, so I'm going to go inside and get some stuff done. This has been the Big JB. You can follow me on Twitter at Voice of the Big JB. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing here on Twitter. Thanks for hitting the like button too. Appreciate that always, and hope everybody has an awesome day. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>